what we, we eat. We get yogurt. <laughs> we, we went to sleep last night and woke up in the fetal position on the opposite side of the tent. <laughs> up the coast, but inland. <laughs> <laughs> is that the goal? Our, our goal is to get up the coast, but inland a little bit where it's warmer. Here's what we've learned. Oh yeah, what, what have we learned today? Uh, we learned that we're not really even state park people. Well, I'm, I'm thinking the state parks are a little more compact. Yes. The, the national parks seem to be more spread out. Yes. And, and more and the, and the national parks seem to have first come first come first served uh, spots yes. available yeah. most almost all of them yeah do. right now so you've probably noticed Richard does most of the cooking because when it's me doing stuff, <laughs> this is what we, we eat. We get yogurt. <laughs> wow, look at that bridge. Are here at Blackberry Campground. Yes, did some needed some R and R. Yes, we absolutely did. And one thing nice is we got a site that was first come first serve. So you get one of those sites and you just put in, you just pay for the first night, and then you can kind of decide, hey, I like this site or no, I need to move on. And so we got here on Wednesday with we the site, and we've kept we've kept keeping the site. It's now Sunday, but yeah. tomorrow we are going to hit the road. Um, mm -hmm and head up towards Mount Hood. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that area. There's a Mount Hood scenic byway that we want to do. Yes. We're supposed to meet Amanda Zito. Yes. Hopefully she shows up today. It's almost, it's 2.30. Um, she was very excited to come out. Yeah, and she lives in She lives in Portland. Mm -hmm. and, and we're about 150, maybe, yeah. 160 miles away. Yeah. She's and she good. said she was going to come meet us. Yes. We're both pretty excited to meet her. No. That, that would be awesome. Yeah, here a uh, couple of old farts excited to go, excited to meet this young lady. I know. Yeah, she seems super cool. The, so The thing is, is we don't have internet, so I'm really hoping. I hope she doesn't have any problems getting here. I hope everything's good. Yeah. You there turned it on. Oh, there we go. Maybe it didn't. Yay! Yes, Hi that there. Has the right, that, has the, <laughs> that has the right stuff on it now. Look, <laughs> look who came to visit us. I'm so excited when she came. <laughs> You should, have, you should have seen these two. <laughs> I've just always wanted to meet her. She, yeah. reads, she reads the best books and gives me great suggestions. Thank you. So she came all the way down from Portland to visit. How, that, far, how many miles was it? It wasn't that far. I think it's like 127 miles. It was only three hours. It was fine. One towel bag is my kitchen with the tools in the bottom, but I've added the bags in the front. I still need to like adjust the bags in the front. They're not not sitting the way that I want them to. So like This one is fine because it just has gloves in it. But this one has my tool roll in it right now. My dad will probably go up something. <laughs> now, what's the name of this company again? Um, Wolfman Luggage. They're amazing. They're based out of Colorado. They've been a U.S. based com company for a really long time, probably older than I've been alive, actually. Um, but these are the new uh, 2020 Wolfman lineup of the Rocky Mountain Expedition uh, style bags. Um, so each bag is like almost 30 liters, which my last set of bags was like 19 liters each. So this is a huge improvement. So I'm really excited about them. Um, I just posted a video like with a bit of overview of all my of the exciting things about these new bags. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I like those bags. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. There she goes, Amanda Zito as the magpie, as the magpie flies. She is riding away.
pretty Oregon road. Yep. Again. Again. I know. <laughs> hey, Oregon's got great roads. Yeah. And this is beautiful with the forest. Yeah. So here's the Humbug campground. Okay, so after here, we can camp. Oh. So, okay. so let me, let's find a pull out so I can pull up that other map. And... Okay. The river's way down there, and so it, it'll work in a pinch, but we're hoping for something that can get us riverside. Is the, that's the goal, anyway. It goes Richard back from his scouting adventure. He's in that nice spot already, right uh, on the river. Oh. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it is on it. I had to stop. I had to stop, like, on the hill, and it was like, oh. All right, attempt number two. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work. I'm moving on. All right, so Richard went to check out spot number. I think we're up to three. <laughs> We've checked out. A of, there's a lot of dispersed camping here along this road, but we're limited because we need to be near water because we can't drag it that much in with us. And we All right, keep your fingers crossed. You found something. There's a spot down there. Yeah? No water nearby. Okay. And there's another spot down there, but it's off spot. And then there's another spot, and it's off spot. <laughs> but there's no water. All right, so Richard headed down this way on my bike. This is site number four that we're checking out. So far, still no luck on the dispersed camping. But, at least ways it's pretty here. All right, so Richard called me, said he needed my help. So that's one of two things. He's found a campsite or he's dropped the bike. Here? Look yeah. At, look at that. Oh, that's like a... four by four. Yeah. See that? Look, yeah. At those, look at those holes. Yeah, no. And I, I was no way I could get that push out. Ready? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Break. No purchase. I know you got nothing. Yeah. Ready? Count to three. It helps me get release the brake. One, okay. two, three. Big old rock right there. <laughs> okay, so we got it pushed up a little bit. High enough. Kind of. So Richard can make the turn here. Lots of dispersed camping, but not for a tent. I, I, I take that back. It, it, it will work for a tent, but no water. So we have just whatever water we brought in our jugs and our in Oregon, our bottles. Oregon is gorgeous. Oregon is it's gorgeous. It's stunning. Outside of Detroit, there's all these dispersed camp spots along this river. However, nobody's brought a shovel. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll just leave, leave it. it. We'll leave it at that. Yes. Yeah. Nope. So we're going to keep going north on 46 here on the forest road, and we're going to go into Mount Hood Forest, uh, National Forest. So All the way out. I got one. And it's on. Check it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> we found one. Uh -huh. Check it out. He was getting frustrated. I was getting frustrated. <laughs> I was getting frustrated and I think we found it. And look. Now well, listen. We found a great spot. Here's, here's the other dilemma about tent camping is finding a level spot so that your head either isn't like this. Like upside down so or, you get a headache. Or like <laughs> this and you're sliding off your cot. Yeah. <laughs> so you always have to strategically place your tarp somewhere first before you put the tent up. Yes. And Richard has a level on his phone. 
Seriously? Well, you need a longer level. <laughs> <laughs> got it stuck. Solar's awesome until it's not. <laughs> Do you have a cord that reaches all the way out here? Well, I'm hoping. So we've got this solar panel with what we call Eli charging up. And it's just going to be moving it around, following the sun, because in Oregon, there's lots of trees to get us in the sun. <laughs> Ideally, right on this rock. Okay. How's that? Huh? All right, we got all three solar things out here rock and rolling. We got the solar shower. We got the big solar. And we got the little solar. Get a little work done. And See then it? we're going to go. Yep. So, before, when it was starting to get in the shade, it had 13 watts, and it was about 91%. Now it's directly in the sun, putting out 75 watts, which is maximum, and it's at 100% capacity. I say 75 watts maximum because it's a 100 watt panel, and it's there's a 25% deficiency on the panel. Anyway, so we have our tent set up. And we had a minor issue with the slope of our tent. Oh yeah, we did. But, but we corrected it. We did correct that. We, <laughs> we went to sleep last night and woke up in the fetal position on the opposite side of the tent. <laughs> no, that's what it felt like. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it, was, it was a pretty good slope. It looked flat when we put it there, but we adjusted. Yes, we did. So we are gonna <laughs> we check. We adapted, we overcame, and conquered. So we're gonna try that again tonight. Our beds are on a little bit too much of a slant and last night we kept sliding. So I'm out here and I'm gonna try to find some bark that we can put underneath the feet of our cots at the end to try to raise them up and make it a little bit more level. So. Hill. It's like it needs to come up about that high, huh? But then you're going to have the middle off the ground, right? Well, I'm going to get the middle too. All right, let's let's see. Test it now. Test your bed. Oh man. <laughs> is it better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot better. Okay. <laughs> what you doing, Chris? We are going to make dinner and here's what we're gonna have come on over here and I'll show you we've got some onions that we need to use up before they go bad so I'm gonna just chop those up we're going to pan fry these sausages chop up some cheese and then it's really hard to travel with like hot dog buns or bread because it just tends to get smushed so we've got this pita flatbread so we're just gonna roll it around a sausage and that's it I just have to laugh because this is this is like camping 101 when you're on your motorcycles and we have one table which is being used for something else whenever we're out and about we're always looking for a chopped off stump or a flat rock or something to be able to do our cooking I'm just gonna do chunks nice big onion chunks
<laughs> Here's the best place about this dispersed spot, is you can go tromping through the forest, this pristine forest, and nobody else is around. The only sounds that you hear are nature. And it's awesome. <laughs> So this morning, we get up, it's cold. I start the water for the coffee, come back over here, or go back over to the camp to grab the cotton for the fires, try starting the fire, go run over to the trunk to grab coffee, can't find the coffee, go back, check the water, go back over here, find the coffee over in the solar, Come back, the fire's out, put the fire out, go back, check the coffee, get the coffee. Uh, I've moved around way too much before coffee this morning. <laughs> All right, so trying to get to Mount Hood isn't as easy as we thought it was going to be from no. the campsite. We are, we are camped somewhere right here along the Clackamas River, okay? We came up and we're going to go here, and if we go this way, it's all paved. But we're going to go this way, and the last like six miles until you get to that road, number 42, is unpaved. Here we are, paved. It's paved. It's paved, and there's 10 million people. You'll never get out. Good luck, kid. <laughs> being perpetually optimistic it's crazy out here <laughs> it is and it's we nuts. saw Mount Hood and we are going to turn around and get out of here because the area around around Mount Hood is a bit busy it's That's crazy putting it busy. mildly <laughs> it the busy traffic and and the roads even the forest roads yeah. are packed yeah and the people in cars are just a little well, look, too on. enthusiastic about their driving <laughs> well one pulled out right in front of you just so they could back up back their trailer yes, yes. that's good yeah. good to do that in front of a motorcycle well either way it's just you know when it's too busy and you're such on high alert and you're trying to see something scenic and all you're having to do is play I am sad because we're leaving this beautiful campsite, but it is time to head out. And actually it's time to leave Oregon. Yeah, we've been in Oregon for almost 26 a, days. Yeah, almost a month and it's been phenomenal. But we're leaving here and we are making our way to Walla Walla, Washington. Paul, we reached out to Paul through the Facebook group Bunk a Biker and mm -hmm. he has graciously offered for us to stay in an RV. In his RV out there. So we'll be staying in Walla Walla tonight. So thanks, he says, I'll have the AC on for you. That's scary because look. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's chilly here. But we were around Mount Hood yesterday and... 96. My gosh, 96. My dashboard was a tech in a hundred yes july 25th we found summer yep <laughs> that's right we found summer here that's yes, right we did. this is 
why it's always good to check your campsite because we almost forgot a really valuable member of our family. Uh, yes, yeah, no sh <laughs> We would be buying another one for sure. Yeah, Chris would be very, very sad to see this shower go or be left behind. <laughs> and we're putting out our, well, we already put out our campfire with the blue jug, but we're making extra sure that it's out. Yeah, we might as well dump the rest of this out on here. We just can't get out of a campsite before 1030, can we? No matter what time we get up. <laughs> Hey, guess what? Am I supposed to say what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what? We're going to start a Patreon page. Yes. So if you like the content that we're providing and you would like to support our channel and gain better access to us, to us, you can do so for as little as $5 a month. And we've got a lot of things that we're offering right away and a lot of things coming up. We're going to have behind the scenes. We're going to have bloopers. We're going to have uncut video, yeah. that official video, I don't yeah. even know what you call it. <laughs> and we're going to have better access. Um, oh. We're also going to have insider information of what's coming down the pipeline. Things that we're thinking about that we want to do, um, what our future plans for this channel is going to be. Stuff that we're not sharing anywhere else except for on our Patreon. Account. Right, and we want we want the people that are with us in Patreon to give us the input that they have because they, they're be important to us. Yes, and if you can't or don't want to join us on That's Patreon. That's perfectly at, fine. Yes. We Absolutely. Are, yes. We are just deeply honored that you're here, that you're enjoying our channel. All right. Y'all ride safe. <laughs>